Hey, welcome to Manic Monday, Freight Wave style. Hope you celebrated well. I'm Chad Prevost. And I'm Emily Zink. Yeah, nice long weekend. We, t we are talking market rates and container rates. So we're going to talk about how volumes are way below where they were last year. Uh, and it's not looking so good for this July 4th. Zach, you must have the Monday blues again, right? I mean, you're bringing me down with these raids. I do, I do. It was a long weekend. I, I'm kind of tired today, so it, I wasn't feeling it this morning. But I wanted to talk about how this big trough right here, we've got the outbound tender volume index, United what? States pulled up, and you see this big ravine right here. This is last year. Last year's 4th of July. We, we went way down. But this year, this purple line, that's volumes this year. We went, we're averaging about 8% below where we were last year. We even went further down. Further down, okay. much further down. So this big trough now, part of this impact is due to the fact that July the 4th occurred on a Wednesday uh. versus Thursday. So the same uh, week isn't going to be as impactful because you have Wednesday is going to chop up the week, whereas a Thursday is going to make it a longer weekend. Meaning are, we, are we expecting a big rebound? Not, not really, not this year. Like it should come back up eventually, yes, but Coming into July, volumes are going to start declining back down. They're not going to have as much behind them as they did last year. We saw this big spike leading up to the holiday, but then they really just fell off the map due to the long weekend. Well, don't blame him. He's just bringing us the data. What else do you got up your bag of tricks today, Zach? Yeah, so on the next chart, there is one market that is maintaining some staying power, and it's the, it's the Ontario market. Now, everybody oh. heard about this is where the, the earthquakes happened this weekend. Now, so maybe not steady in that way. Yeah, no, 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 little up and down here. Right. No, this isn't a seismograph, but it is. <laughs> it is. It is impressive that Ontario has picked back up in volume. I've got the outbound tender market share pulled up right here. 4.84%, the highest level it's been in a long time since before Memorial Day. So we really do expect that this market is going to increase and stay higher coming out throughout the second half of the year because it's container season. Or there starting we to be. go. <laughs> Some optimism yeah. abounds. Hi, I'm Henry Byers and today we're looking at container rates from China to the U.S. Um, from a shipper's perspective, uh, if we look at China, North America, uh, West Coast, then North America, East Coast, West Coast being represented in the white line, uh, East Coast being represented in this uh, pink line here. Uh, again, the Freitas Baltic Daily Index is container rates for 40-foot containers in the spot market um, and as we saw on July 1st these did receive a substantial general rate increase otherwise known as a GRI and I wanted to take a look back here uh, if we look at August uh, of last year uh, what those that received we expect almost an identical increase in August MSC has come out and announced an $800 to $1,000 general rate increase. We believe that'll be more, closer to around $250 to $350. But again, following the very, very similar trend lines uh, to last year. Um, over the weekend is also, uh, speaking of MSC, there was a notable uh, alliance change. So amongst the ocean container carriers, they have three main alliances, 2M, Ocean Alliance, and The Alliance. And Hyundai actually changed from the 2M Alliance over to the Alliance, and Zim actually um, is joining the 2M Alliance. And so I wanted to show you one of the major things that they're trying to address with this alliance change. Uh, the 2M Alliance, specifically adding Zim, is looking at the Gulf. Uh, they're, they're trying to provide faster transits um, to the Gulf ports. You've got Mobile, you've got Houston. Uh, and right here we have Houston. This is loaded import TEUs, and this is actually a year over year. This is showing how they've changed uh, year over year. So as we can see, they've been adding about 10 to 15,000 TEUs per year. This year is up as well. Um, so they're trying to address that without alliance change, trying to put Zim into their network and capture uh, some market share and help out the shippers down there uh, in the Gulf. So if you're shipping, uh, you're importing uh, through the Panama Canal to Houston or Mobile, uh, you may want to look at this new alliance change and, and take note. Um, also over the weekend, MSC just launched their uh, largest vessel to date, nearly 24,000 TEUs, so still some uh, massive ships coming into the network. After some chaos over the weekend in California with all those earthquakes, luckily it didn't do too much to the market. That's right. At least there's some optimism. Thanks to our market experts, Zach Strickland and Henry Byers, for bringing us that great news and this interesting analysis. Share the love. You know where to find us. Yeah, of course, you're watching on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And in the meantime, don't worry. Be happy.